It's a high-profile event attended by national and global leaders. The caliber of guests on and off the podium speaks volume. Former Secretary General of the Commonwealth, Chief Emeka Nyaoku, President-elect Bola Tinubu, represented by former Deputy Governor Femi Pedro, Presidential Candidate of the Labour Party, Mr. Peter B, Governor Babajide Songolu, represented by his Deputy Obafemi Amzat, and other important personalities are in attendance. It is important to note at the start of the pro proceedings here today, that the lecture series is not just an adventure in intellectual rhapsody. It is not a memorial escapade to glorify an individual. No, it is an adventure within the bounds of the submission of Emmanuel Onyechere Oshigwe Anyam Oshigwe on how we can vastly realize a better world order. The Lagos State Deputy Governor believes the topic is a clarion call and a challenge that must be taken up by all. He enjoins Nigerians to be patriotic, avoid actions and statements that may demarket the country. As a philosopher once said, the best way to kill the brain is to talk without evidence. And as a people in our country, it is also important that we don't continue to demean our country always criticizing everything that is done without providing solutions. For elder statement, former Secretary General of the Commonwealth, Chief Ayaku, countries and leaders must build on the comprehensive welfare of the people to develop their citizens' potentials. I believe that if we are to effectively pursue the theme of this 16th session, of the Anya Motsigwe lecture series, consideration of the comprehensive welfare of the people should be the bedrock of policies and actions by politicians and leaders across the world. Former United Kingdom's Prime Minister Boris Johnson, who is still a seven member of Thank the British Parliament, takes the stage. He speaks on the diversity and mobility of ideas as the bedrock of developing talents and unleashing potential. And I know that you are building wonderful mass transit systems and, uh, and a metro. How's it going? I, fantastic. What I want to say to you today, in an absolutely unashamed way, as the former chairman of Transport for London, let's do it together. When I was, when I was mayor of London, th thank you, Anya Masigwe family. Uh, when, when, I was, when I was mayor of London, I increased the capacity on the tube by about 30%, and I built Crossrail, the, the Elizabeth Line, the biggest engineering project in Europe. So don't, let, let's do, let, let, I know you're doing the first leg, but let's do the rest of it together. Don't do it with the Spanish, don't do it with the French, don't do it with the Chinese. Do it with, do it with Transport for London. Nigeria could be a, a renewable superpower as well as a massive producer of oil and gas. Mr. Johnson is one of the world leaders who have been invited for the lecture series to share their thoughts on various issues of global importance with the benefits of their experiences and perspectives. Dari Idu, Channels Television News.